American race car driver Austin Dillon has walked away from a spectacular high-speed crash during a NASCAR event in Daytona. And the big one happens behind them. An explosion of steel and smoke broke out on the last lap of the race on Monday as Dillon's number three Chevrolet sailed into the catch fence following an earlier altercation. Hitting the safety fence at an estimated 300 kilometres an hour, the engine and drive line were violently flung from the vehicle as it disintegrated into parts of the crowd and narrowly missed a nearby cameraman. The 25-year-old walked away from the crash with only a bruised tailbone and forearm. He waved to spectators at the track and renewed safety concerns that speeds in the sport were too high. Four fans were treated at the track and one was transported to a local hospital and is listed in a stable condition. Mobile phone footage of the crash has since emerged, revealing just how close fans were to serious injury. Dale Earnhardt Jr. crossed the line first in the race and watched in his mirror as the mayhem unfolded behind him. The crash follows a similar incident in February 2013, when a car careered into the catch fence and entered parts of the crowd, injuring 28 people. The accident prompted NASCAR officials to introduce stronger catch fences and larger buffers between the track and the crowd, safety measures that may have potentially saved lives in this latest incident.